So friends, this video I would be demonstrating you a technique wherein you can grab mutual funds historical NME prices from a popular website money control. Now this technique uh, is same for Power BI and Excel since it uses Power Query which is common for both. So let's start. you can pick up any mutual fund which you like so let me go to mutual fund home page and i would randomly pick any fund. let's say mirai asset large cap fund let's open this now we would be harvesting uh, internal links charting links of this website because of as you see for charts you need data Okay, so money control website is internally requesting data for various uh, time series for preparing these charts. Okay, so now let us first grab the URL. Okay, so I would press F12. So you can do this in any browser if you like. I prefer generally Chrome or Edge. Okay, and just go to networking tab and you have to make sure if it is this is this is on all you need to click on fetch xhr so that only specific request which we want gets filtered out okay and using this you can clear this okay because money control keeps on making a request let's say every five or ten seconds okay which we are generally not see you can see let's clear this okay now let's say I want uh, this data for five years. Moment I click, you can see a request being made to Money Control website to prepare this chart. Okay. Now let's click on this link. So this is the URL which we want. Okay. If I go to headers tab, it's the URL, and payload is the request. So it said that this is the as in number of that mutual fund. Okay and here somewhere yes duration 5y that means 5 years so let's expect 365 into 5 okay roughly that number of rows should be there okay now this data is in json format so power query definitely can decode json format now you can see two properties now this is for nifty 50 okay we are not interested in g1 okay if you expand this Yes, roughly we can say that number of rows are there. Okay. Let's expand any of this and drill to any of the row. So you can say, so date is in reverse format, year, month, day, 23rd, 10, 2017, NAV was 47.839. Okay. So yes, this is the target data which we want. Now let's start by copy pasting it URL. So let's grab this URL. So I'll select this and copy it. Okay. Copy and first I would start by demonstrating it in Power BI. After that, I would be demonstrating it in Excel. Okay. So let me switch to my Power BI. Okay. Get data more. Okay. Let's wait for that detail data source selection window the first time it would take a bit more time okay so we'll select file now again you would say it is from web then why are i'm selecting file when it i'm pasting url okay just select file okay don't worry about that json connect okay and here instead of browsing a json file you can even paste your url hyperlink okay and i will open it okay, let's see so it is not necessary that in file open dialog you have to necessarily browse a file you can even paste your hyperlink safely because for uh, operating system it is one and the same okay Okay, now we can see the same JSON structure here. So we are interested in the this G1 value. So I will pick G1. Okay, list. 
let's convert it to table okay click convert it to table okay and uh, let's expand this load more now i will deselect this original column next and let's click okay so you can see all the rows being downloaded in power bi now let us change uh, data types okay so these two fields are numeric so i would select this and in transform i would say that these both fields are having decimal number value okay so you can see now one to return here and this is date this is not a text so i can simply select here and say that this field is having date okay you can see uh, let us even write name of the fund if you want or i can simply for the timing i can write data okay Great. so table by name data would be created let's go to home click close and apply so that the data would be loaded into the power bi data model okay let's wait for the data to load so again downloading data okay 1200 rows loaded let's check so I'll go to the data tab and let's see the data. Okay. So you can see all the data being loaded here. And now the beauty of this is that let's say tomorrow or day after tomorrow, if you simply go to home tab and refresh it, it would be the recent data. So it would start from today minus five years. Okay. So it would keep on getting the latest data. Now let's grab this data even in Excel. Okay, so procedure is same. So I will simply copy this link. Okay, then go to Excel, data types, get data from file. Now please note if this menu from JSON is available only for Office 365. So if you don't have Office 365 version, then definitely you will not be able to. Otherwise, you can. Uh, import it in power bi and later on copy paste this data in excel if you want but i would suggest just upgrade to office 665 and import it directly okay from json say let's wait for the window to come again you can paste hyperlink as it is okay connect so this is just one time window again it would not ask for this Okay, and I would go to a value called G1. Okay, inside that, you know, to table, convert it to table. Press OK, then expand this, load more. Okay, we'll deselect this so that I have column name as it is. These two fields, you know, these are decimal. Okay, decimal number. And this one, is a date. I would say this one is having date. And again, I can say maybe MF data. You can write by any name. And let's click home, close and load to. Okay, so I want this data here itself in this sheet. Let's click and this would load all these rows. So lastly, I demonstrated this for only single fund, but yes, you can apply this technique for multiple funds. Your hyperlink would change. Okay, so if you carefully study this hyperlink, you would see that as in value is definitely there somewhere at the last of the hyperlink. So you can simply change this as in value of the hyperlink and you can harvest data for multiple funds. So if you like this technique, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.